Well, hello everyone. Uh, I am today at Shine Tideland State Park in beautiful Jefferson County, Washington. It's been uh, it's been a rough uh, couple of weeks actually for fishing. Uh, temperatures here have been in the high 80s. Um, there've been a lot of wind. It's been very, very hot and dry and sunny and bright. Not really good for fishing. But today, uh, the weather has changed entirely. We're down a good 10, 15 degrees on the forecast for today, and it's overcast, uh, and there's even the possibility of a little bit of rain today. It's already, uh, I can feel a few spots of rain. Um, so conditions are good. Now I've heard about this place, I've never fished it before. I've been here birding, a few occasions, uh, but this beach gets mentioned in Richard Stoll's Cutthroat book, and uh, over the years I've read several articles. Um, about fishing at this spot. So I know it, it should hold some fish. Uh, I'm on a good tide. Uh, the daytime tides in the summer uh, tend to be quite small. Um, high tide is in about three hours, and then there's going to be a minus tide. So uh, once the tide starts to go out, uh, there should be quite a lot of water movement. So uh, I'm all keyed up for it. Let's get started. So I'm on the west side of Hood Canal here, which is the uh, opposite side to where I normally fish. And uh, one of the reasons I chose today to come here is because uh, the wind's been out to the north and it's changed around to the south. So here it's supposedly going to be blowing... Um, oh, I've got some weed here. The wind's going to be blowing uh, onto my casting hand, which I always prefer. But uh, so far today, uh, if anything, the wind has just been on the other side. So not, not as forecast. And it's also kind of coming towards me a bit too. So uh, casting has been a little bit difficult so far. my fly just trying to get hung up in the breeze. That's okay, good cast there. So I will persevere. I haven't seen any fish yet, but I've heard, I've heard a couple of kind of splashes to my left and I've looked for ripples, haven't seen anything. So maybe, maybe they're fish, maybe not. So to start with today, I'm fishing my um, no snarl squimp. Um, I'll put I'll put a link in the description to uh, to how I tie that. And uh, that's a fly I really like to start off with if I'm at a new place. Um, it's just effective all year round, and uh, I kind of rely on it. Either that or the um, Delia conehead squid, but uh, if this hasn't produced for me within you know another half an hour, I'm gonna try something else. But this is my go-to pattern for you know when I just don't have a clue what to expect. There's unfortunately um, quite a lot of weed in the water, particularly uh, this eelgrass, uh, which is like just the bane of summer fishing in Puget Sound. You have to battle that stuff all the time. So as you can see, the park uh, adjoins the Hood Canal floating bridge, which spans Kitsap and Jefferson counties. And so it's not a particularly peaceful place to fish. You can hear the rumble of the big trucks as they hit the span. Uh, 
but it's, it's kind of picturesque in its own way. So as you can see I've moved uh, closer to the bridge and the, the beach here seems to be shelving more steeply so there's, there's deeper water just, just offshore and um, just a few minutes ago I saw a fish out there uh, come up and chase some small fry so there are fish around. That one was just out of my casting range. So there's a lot of boats going past at the moment. I think there's been a season opener for a resident coho somewhere. I know Marine Area 10, but uh, I don't know where these boats are going. They're leaving a lot of wake though. Race is on. Now I think it's possible that all of these boats are fishing for shrimp. I don't really know, but um, I remember seeing somewhere that the shrimp season is kind of this time of year, so that might be where they're all going. See 12 of them coming down now. Not the most peaceful place to fish right now. But I'm still, I'm enjoying it. That's a nice jumper there. That gives me hope. So I'm taking off the squimp and I'm going to put on um, I'm going to put on a clouser minnow. Bring the changes a little bit. see how we get on with that. Another nice fish just splashed out there. I don't know if you saw that on the camera. Right, well, 
nothing doing on that uh, Clouser minnow, so I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with a Delia squid for a while. Choose that one. My leader was getting quite short, so I've replaced um, some of the tippet as well. This actually isn't my usual Delia squid. Um, I've taken to putting um, a collar on and this one, I have this beautiful hen neck that has uh, has like it's tan with white tips on it. So I thought that that might really work well on the Delia squid. So I'm going to give that a shot. Fish on. Awesome. I don't think this is a big one. Digging. And there we go. So I'm working my way um, away from the bridge uh, up towards the north end of the beach as the tide is going out now. Uh, just so I try some more of this water. I do not know what the name is of that um, amazing uh, land formation in front of me. I'll look it up, I'll Google it and, and put it in the video so you know what it is. Looks like something out of Treasure Island, doesn't it? And I, I, it's it's connected by uh, by a land bridge over there, I think. I hooked something. Feels like a sculpin. Yeah, that's what it is. Pacific staghorn sculpin. Come here, fella. This is this is where you get this is where you get yourself cut if you're not careful. And he got that right in the scissors. There you go. Oh. 
got a fish on here. Oh, lost him. Yeah, that was another cutthroat. Well, I don't know if you can see out there, but um, in the last 10, 15 minutes, uh, the weed has come in. So it looks kind of like the Sargasso Sea out there and there's no way I can pre present a fly anymore. So I think my morning of fishing is, uh, is going to come to an end. Right, so I'm ready to go home now. I've enjoyed my morning. First time here at Cheyenne Thailand State Park. Uh, I caught the one cutthroat that I really hope I got on film. Um, hooked another one. And that seems to be about the pattern at this time of year for me in Hood Canal, one or two fish. Uh, can't complain. Uh, I like the place. There's some good water to fish. I haven't checked it all out yet. Uh, up to the north, there's some beautiful looking beach that I didn't really get to. There's a porta potty which when you get to my age is definitely a consideration. It's a great feature. So all in all, yeah, this is a good place. I'm going to come back again uh, for sure uh, later in the year and maybe I'll make another video. So uh, until the next time, tight lines everyone.